that. I've actually tried making a tutorial of the mandala and it's a bit hard. So I'm going to make a tutorial of a related thing which would be good to practice first. And at that point you would see the mandala. Now it's a more of a, gr a square grid pattern. You need eight of these, if that's a unit, a triangle, you're going to need eight of those. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you make them into a, a ring. All right. And you take a, a loop like this, make it straight, and you every every second one of these they'll go onto, so it's not really going onto that one. And the next one, it'll be the same way on every single one you go onto. Yeah, because it see it goes onto one, and then it sort of opens. Just close those off to keep them from from joining the wrong one. If you don't close these off, they'll join each other by mistake. But it's only a temporary thing that you you undo that later. So you just go around and you join them all like that. Okay. Now, then you open it up, and you need more more of this chain. So from here, take the the second one. It'll either go in if it was wrong, turn it over. If it doesn't go in like that, you know, turn it over like that, like that. Make sure that's all straightened up. Now, when, when you touch it against, it'll flare open. All right, if, but if it doesn't, you've got to make it flare open. All right, so the little ta tags, little four loops, they open and you get two lines of two. All right, now, in between each of these, you need um, the, another, um, well, there's the centre one, and you count one, two, three, four, five, six, put that one in, including the one that's touching the outside of the, the tag there. So if you've got it right, it'll it'll clip in like that to the tag. Clip it into the other one and make sure it flares on both sides and then both of the adjoining triangles touch the tag so that it opens up properly. Then you go one, two, three, four, five, six again, that one. Clip it in both sides. Carefully try and leave the tags open on both sides. If it doesn't connect properly, just push it down like that. Okay, and we need a bit more. Um, so we've got the middle one, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, put it in, like that, and then one, two, three, four, uh, five, I think it'll be, to get the last one, because there's already one there, now it must have been four, somehow it ends up being four, alright, and you end up with that, and now there's one, two, three raised triangles. You put a tag on that one, a tag on that one, and this one will be in the middle of two tags. So I'll show, you'll see what that means in a minute. So you could put one in the middle, but it would leave you funny. It would leave it looking funny. There'd be extra spots. You put one on the two sides. So one tag there, and then one on the other side of it. And then there's the centre one, which is now joined the middle, and then the centre one is the middle of this tag is the first one. The centre one is now the edge of this tag, and now the, this far one will be the middle of the new tag, and it also touches the centre one. See how they've come together? That's the kind of thing that happens that you try to avoid. That's why I always clip them together like that. And close it like that. And you go around doing that to all of them. Like that. Okay, so... That's already a bit a, a bit cool by itself. The next layer is just like the first layer. You put tri triangle in. I've been lucky; they've been putting it in the right way first time each time. It can't continue. All right, both the tags expand after you put it on. Now again, because it's the corner one, you put six. One, two, three, four, six. It's there. But then the one that's not at a corner, you just put four. One, two, three, four. All right, so it goes six, four, six, four. Now this one will be six again. One, two, three, four, six.
Now in order to proceed I'm going to put, I might put another, I've got another chain just like the previously. Let's put the next layer around the outside. Um, between these two here, there, and here, there'll be um, like there'll be the, the point of a triangle in here, then three, and then the point of another triangle in here, and three, so three points, and the point of another one in here, and then there'll be five points, and the point of another one in here, the sixth one. And then three, three, five, three, three, five, three, three, and back to this one will be five in that cap. So I'll open up some of those now, and it'll look exactly the same. It'll, it'll come out as a grid pattern like that. Four, four, and you've got that. Now that started with an inner ring of four, and I went all the, the straight parts had a, just a um, three additional high spots on the little on the row of triangles. So you have the high spots one, two, three, and then one into each of the tags. And then at the corners, there's always five of these little triangles. And then a sixth one in the tag. Next in the, so there's the corner, you have a sixth one in the tag, and a seventh one in the next tag. In the middle, five. So including the one here touching the tag, not the one in the center of the tag, but the one touching it is one, two, three, four, five. And then there's the one in the center of the next tag. And that can make that, that's with four in the middle. You can make one with five in the middle, I've got a picture of. You can make one with seven in the middle, this is it here. Seven one also, I've gone um, three. So there's the central ring, tags, and then there's three. Uh, one in the tag and then three in the middle, and one in the tag all the way around. But then the next one I've had to go five in the middle and two tags come off it. And two tags come off that and two tags come off that. And that's just because that's what fitted. If I, did, if I went more it wasn't flat, if I went less it wasn't fat. Right. This one here is a nine tag. This one wouldn't work properly unless I made these tags. Instead of putting a little Instead of the tag being made of four magnets, and the tag was made of yeah, six magnets. That's all. So there you have it. This one here has had uh, a 28 tags, so so 28 triangles in that inner ring, which led to 14 tags. So one, two, three, four, all around 14. And then the end of it, the top of it, I haven't bothered making extra tags to expand from. What I've done is I've just used a chain like that, which goes diamond square, diamond square, diamond. 